It's been a, it, 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 this is interesting, I can't talk. It's been an interesting journey so far. And I may want to take it longer. <laughs> and he's waiting to answer your prayers. I know you don't, don't recognize me the way I am now. But I think I'm going to come out in the darkness. <laughs> My question was why, why or things kind of unraveling this way, what a way to go. And she came in knowing very little about what was going on. And I said something about the Lord. And she encouraged me from the scripture and that the Lord was in control just from nowhere. <laughs> God said, he said, um, you're a hard head, but I'm here with you. <laughs> That's true. I anyway, I was playing the game. And the Lord said, I'm in control. I'm the one that brings the blessing. Anyway, I want to let you know that I'm consent. I'm okay with whatever God has for me. Prayer requests. I think about people I pray for and I have nothing to complain about because the Lord is in us. But I, I'm selfish and i got to have them. people come up to me and say we've been praying for you. But that's not it. It's about Him. Tear box. Well, that's fine. You don't know how long you're going to be on this earth anyway, do you? No, I don't. It might be a long time. It might not be. But God had it planned out before you were ever born. Well, that's going to get into the notion of I'm ready to go. And don't put me in the middle of something I don't know. I get so confused. And... You're thinking. I, I, I'm not able to participate like I used to. <laughs> Lord, it's not me. You know what? <laughs> Spent your lifetime serving in the church and now... <laughs> Do you know what, though? You're, this, we don't quite understand this, but you're serving God just as much right now as you were then. This is what He has for you. Yeah. This is the service you're doing. I want the short chapter. <laughs> I understand that, but it is it is his story, it's not ours. And you are doing exactly what he has for you to do right now. This is it. I'm going to wind it down a little bit. Uh, I just get so soft hearted, so easy. But God is just holding my hand there for a while. Not physically, in, in, in nothing I can see, but it's like he's saying to me, why are you complaining is this is about me. Yep, it's true. But you're human and I'm human and that's what we do until God straightens us out. Arms right now and he's in control of everything going on. And that nurse is part of it. Yeah. I think that you're where you're supposed to be. God we don't know why God puts us through these things, but he does. We've had a very relatively Easy time, no found family tragedies. It's just the thought of dying by suffocation. By suffocation, oh, honey, you're not going to Well, I'm just talking about the things that jump started me. I, I don't know if you heard in the beginning, but with this disease when I was sitting on Parkinson is a disease that's diagnosed by symptoms and they're pretty bit pretty non descriptive symptoms that you have but they 
we have a pretty high rate of nailing the, the disease process. I went to the went to the doctor because of the the, the this the couldn't breathe. And someplace in this line of evaluation they decided that was pulmonary hypertension. So I was thinking I was going down one trail but with this disease. Right now, that's what they're concerned with. They may not. But that's Parkinson's is you don't have that. So I would get winded in calling it Parkinson's. And it's really pulmonary hypertension and the longevity of one versus the other is quite different. And that kind of got the whole thing going. And I come in and I have my head pointed down the, towards the floor. I come into church and I point my head towards the floor. It's because I'm afraid I'm going to shake and demonstrate Parkinson's symptoms. And I thought, how is that going to affect them faster? Shake it like a fool. Now well, this is what God has for you at this time. This is the trial He has for you. It's a humdinger. <laughs> that it is. That it is. Shaking down, which is the Parkinson's. But I can wear can we come off a real rapid shaking session sitting in the audience at church. And then it's embarrassing. And I don't know how to handle it. Everybody understands, though. I didn't know more ladies than ever before. And uh, I expressed because of my disappointment that these people hadn't been released. Release. I was really frustrated. We had tears among some people. And you reminded me that God gives grace to each one as he sees fit. And it wasn't just because we got together that it was a magical fit. So yes. you remind me that God works in each person's life in his own special way. And if you talk to Gracia, honey, she'll be the first one to tell you that God was, even though she failed a lot through that test, she was there to tell you now that she got, he was there for her. <laughs> And she came to realize that she doesn't have to tell God when she needs something. He already knows she needs to wait on him and rest on him. And that's what she testifies today. Was it Danny that says that it's the nurse uh, oh, from Lowell? That, oh, from Laos? Is that her? Laos. Be, Laos. She reminded me that it's God's program. Is that my program? Yeah. They can take the wheel, she said. That's why I know you're where you belong. And you don't have That's to understand. You don't have to understand what's going on. You just have to be here, and you are. God's in control. Anyway, I wanted to know that one guy experienced a victory today, and I may fall backwards as in, in the next hour, but it's glory now. Good. That's God's grace. That is God's grace. I am praying that the Lord comes soon. Although all those people that will be left to behind. My wonderful wife. Dale, I have more, and there, I don't know of anyone I have more respect for than you, and yet I know you're human at the same time. Well, if you hear things from people that have spent some time here, you know what happened. Well, I, I love these people. My grandkids, and they say, "No, I know we're in trouble." He's going to talk about the grandkids, <laughs> but I have a great bunch of grandkids. You do. They they not know what they're talking about emotionally, otherwise, but they'll talk to you about about the Lord. They were all up here this afternoon. There's a family to pray for. Tell them about little Surrey. What did she 
Yeah, this is a kid that's born in China. Uh -huh. I was looking for a man who was born in the dumps of Missouri. <laughs> well, you may hear about this, and you know, know that it was not a mental breakdown was per se, but just realizing the Lord is in control. I pray for our little church and, and all the people in it. There's some wonderful folks. He sits on the couch with all those prayer requests that come through and just prays for them. I pray for an hour or so. And that's your ministry yeah, right yeah. now is yeah. prayer. What would we do without you? That's right. I hope you guys think I'm not nuts. <laughs> but you may see me stumbling up the aisle. That's okay. You know what, Dale? And if I fall down, let me fall. Yeah. Him. Dale, you have a whole lifetime of serving Christ and walking down the aisle straight up and straight down. What happens now, it's okay. You've lived an entire lifetime. Of I know Christ. people reminded me, and it has been, it's been a blessing. I, I build a car, build a pizza pie and furniture for the church. And it's had such a good feeling, and it can't do that. In fact, I was talking to some of the kids, and I have a wood shop, a carport. Not more, it's more than a carport, it's a regular detachable garage. And I have a thing full of tools, woodworking tools, and all kinds of tools. And one of the things that goes through my mind is, I don't want to just give things away. I want these things to say the family be useful to them. Rather than borrow that be there the form. And the kids have been receptive to that. But that's got a guy on the move. Build it, make it, just carry it, just paint it, do whatever. And that's all taken out from under me. I have enjoyed the, the praying immensely. That's my little recluse. That's your ministry now. Yeah, don't feel... You could call me, I'll probably have to call the, and the wife call you back and, and write things out, but my heart's in it. <laughs>